Masked men committing break-ins in Lakeview, long rifles in hand. New video from terrified neighbors has them thankful that nobody was hurt. One of the victims telling WDSU reporter Eli Brand it could have been much worse. Eli? Travers, police say they're investigating this as a simple burglary, but the victim tells me it's not the act itself that has her concerned. It's the weapons the thieves had on them when they committed it. Yet more surveillance video of car break ins in New Orleans, but this time with a whole lot more firepower. The surveillance video caught on 20th Street in Lakeview shows two men with long rifles Saturday night entering Miranda Grubb's yard, breaking into her car and heading for her home. I mean, very concerning because I have insomnia all the time, so it would have been very possible for me just to kind of be up and around downstairs. If I heard a noise, I probably would have just opened the door to see what's going on. New Orleans police say they are tying this incident to another vehicle burglary on Bel Air Drive. Grubb says she just moved to New Orleans from Chicago. I guess I get it right. Crime is everywhere, but I think the guns were what was the most terrifying. It's if you're just kind of rummaging, looking for knickknacks, laptops and cars and stuff like why do you have those weapons? Rafael Goyanechi with the Metropolitan Crime Commission says vehicle burglaries are actually down since 2022 by a few hundred, but he says there may be a reason. Property owners are so conditioned to this. They recognize that the chances of the police making a case are remote, so they don't waste their time reporting a lot of this to the police. Other neighbors on 20th Street tell us they didn't call the police for that reason. Goyanechi says the only way to stop it will be catching criminals and keeping them in prison. For Grubb, she just wants it to stop before someone gets hurt in her neighborhood. So stop giving criminals a slap on the wrist for those kind of crimes because you may put them away and prevent more serious crimes like assault, murder, whatever else they have on their mind. Police ask that if you have any information that could lead to the arrest of the people that committed this crime, you call Crime Stoppers of Greater New Orleans. That number 504-822-1111. Reporting live in New Orleans, Eli Brand, WDSU News.